This is a harder 4 vehicle and as you guys can see the navigation the car is completely ignoring that and completely failed to navigate us from that route. Harder 3 vehicle exactly did the same thing and failed again. And this is a narrow road we're making a left turn with a harder 4 vehicle the car couldn't calculate the space between left and right and failed. And this is also a hardware 3 vehicle exactly same road and the car failed again don't know why so let's find out what's the difference between between hardware 4 vehicle and hardware 3 vehicle. Hey everyone, we are back with another full self-driving and we are using a hardware 4 vehicle today. This is my cousin's vehicle. Definitely, it should perform way better because I tried it yesterday at night time. I felt like the car is way more confident that her, than hardware 3 vehicle. So we're gonna find out how the car does things in this regular route where the hardware 3 vehicle makes mistakes. So let's find out. We're gonna make a right turn on this stop sign. The car creeped and we are proceeding. As you can see after this car, the car should definitely go. And it is going as you can see. So also guys, if you guys are new in this channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, this vehicle seems way more smoother than my vehicle. My vehicle suspension is not that great. It is a Model Y performance and it has a bigger wheel. So, you know, like the, all those bumps, you can feel it. But in this vehicle, you can definitely feel the suspensions is way, way, way better. And the FSD is performing much more smoother. I can definitely tell you that. So we're gonna march here. As you can see, the car is not is still changing the lane. I would definitely prefer the car change the lane and move to the left side because as you can see, we're gonna march here on this stop sign. And if we don't change the lane, then we'll completely miss the navigation. So there is a vehicle on our left side so i think this time hardware 4 will fail too let's find out guys so the traffic light just changed and as you can see the car is proceeding so there is a vehicle on our left side so we're gonna find out if the car can able to change the lane here so there is no vehicle right now on our left side but we should definitely move to the left side as that that car just moved on the left and it is still not changing the lane for some reason. Now it is trying, but there is a car. Now we can because there is a car here. So we completely missed that navigation like hardware three vehicle. Interesting stuff. I thought like hardware four will perform much better. So let's watch it together with hardware three performance. We changed the lane. We need to change another time because we didn't want to march there, but the car completely ignored that and we are rerouting from a different road. Really don't know why. So let's get back to the video it completely failed to navigate from that road and now we are rerouting through this road let's find out how the car handles this so we're gonna make a left turn here on this green light we have to definitely wait for uh, the traffic from the opposite side now we're stuck on this uh, yellow light as you can see also, if you want to order our FSD beta bumper magnet from our website, the link is in the description. I am anato.com, so you can just visit there and purchase our FSD beta bumper magnet and you can attach it to your Tesla Model 3 or Y, you know. So we're going to make a left turn. The car is not creeping. We could just go a little far, you know, like cross that white line and then we can do it. But the car is confident enough. It is making that left turn perfectly and it seems very smooth when i'm driving my model y hardware 3 vehicle the car seems very hesitant making a left turn and right turn and stuff like that but in this version like the same software version i'm using by the way i'm using tesla fsd version 12.5.4.1 .4 in both vehicle the car keeps failing there and you know being like not so confident on hardware 3 vehicle so we're gonna make a left turn we need to creep a little bit because there is a car coming you shouldn't go now so it stopped and now we're going okay a little bit of hesi hesitant there like making that left turn it could just creep a little slow and then make that left turn it was trying to just make a left turn and then realizing there is a car in front of us so it just breaks so we're gonna make a right turn and immediately left turn and then we're gonna test that uh narrow road where the car always fails to navigate so let's find out guys so we're gonna make a left turn here as you can see the car is navigating and now we're gonna do okay 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 so it is not here so i'm gonna press that 
Okay, so I'm gonna take over for now because I have to fix the GPS. Okay, and now I'm gonna engage it one more time. As you can see right now, that's the narrow road I'm talking about. So let's find out how the car handles this narrow road situation. So we're gonna make a left turn. The car is going a little fast, but we're gonna find out if the car can do it. So we should definitely make this left turn. As you can see, the car is going and it is stuck. Like harder at three. Interesting stuff, guys. It is stuck because this road is narrow, I get it. But if you come a little slow, you can definitely make that left turn. As a human, I did it multiple times, probably every time I can nail that, but probably FSD can for some reason in this version. So I'm gonna take over for now and I'm gonna try to do it one more time. Just want to see why hardware three and four keep failing in this exact road. Let me know in the comment what do you think about this performance? Why both vehicle, both hardware version, both same software is keep failing there? Please let me know in the comment. So I'm gonna make a left turn and then we're gonna see how the car handles that uh, narrow road. So, and it drives so smoother compared to my car too, guys. I just want to tell you. So we're gonna try one more time. We are going, as you can see, and we're gonna make a left turn. It is going a little fast. And now it should calculate. You see like the hesitations here. So it is trying, but it can't see that. I, I, I don't get it, like why? It's like completely empty. You can make that left turn if you just rotate your steering wheel all the way left side. So I'm gonna press that acceleration a little bit. There is no space right now that we can make that happen. So I'm gonna take over one more time. So this is what is happening with the both vehicle, guys. Let me know in the comment what you think, why it is causing this situation. Uh, please let me know in the comment. Also, if you're new and watching this content for the first time, make sure you hit the subscribe button because uh, this is the only way you can support me as a new content creator. Thank you guys. So now, because this is my cousin's car and I'm in rush, I'm probably gonna go to the city today. So we are gonna try two unprotected left turn where the car makes that in hardware three vehicle last two recent days it did everything right didn't make any mistake but it sometimes get blind because of the sun so we're gonna see how the car handles that so let's find out guys also if you want to order your tesla please use my link from the description so that you can save one thousand dollar on your tesla purchase and we're gonna do that uh, unprotected uh, left turn this left turn is kind of tricky why because we have to make a little right turn and then make a u-turn so let's find out guys in 500 feet Turn right onto Rosedale so this will be a narrow road too i'm gonna engage when i make this left turn so let's find out guys right so there is human in the road we're gonna find out how the car handles so i just engage it there are peoples and our car is moving as you can see and the car is going slow and it is going very slow it is calculating the route very good okay let's find out how the car makes this unprotected left as you can see, the car. I, I hope the car will not get blind by the sun because the sun is hitting yeah, in the camera. And this is a narrow road. So we're gonna stop in this stop sign. And then we're gonna make a right turn and go straight first and then make a right turn. We're gonna creep a little bit to look on our left side. As you can see, the, there is car coming. There is few traffic. Don't go right now, please. It seems very confident here. Like my hardware three vehicle will be like doing this and this, the steering wheel nag and stuff like that. There is another car, don't go. There are a few others car, a few other traffic. After this car, we should definitely proceed. As you can see, the car will fail probably. No, it is coming. Wow, impressive. It came and immediately make that U-turn. Very good job. Oh my goodness, that is great. That is great move by Tesla FSD. Very good job, Tesla AI team. So we're gonna do one more time, guys. Let's find out how the car handles that unprotected left turn. So, unprotected left number two in hardware four vehicle. As you guys can see, we're in New York and we're gonna see, we're gonna see, we're gonna see how the car handles this 
um, situation as you can see our car is trying to avoid those human um, we're gonna find out how the car t do things here so I'm gonna press the acceleration a little bit because I want to see that how the car handles things here um, the car did it perfectly but it had to get assist by me so don't know yeah, why that car got ex yeah. like you know confused probably those human are just standing in the road so I had to tell the car please go you have a space so we have to look on our left side to make this unprotected left. The last time the car made that right turn a little fast. So that's why I thought like the car will get failed. But now it is going and it is gonna stop yeah, here. There is no other car and we're probably gonna make a U-turn. Very good. It's like very confident, very, very confident. Like I can definitely tell you like the compare between hardware three and hardware four, it is night and day. But it is still making mistake, definitely. The same mistake in the narrow road with hardware 3 and 4 is the same thing. So, what do you think about this performance, guys? So, we're going to make a right turn, I guess. The car navigation is saying to make a U-turn, but we can't make a U-turn from our right lane. So, let's find out if the car, yes, the car turns on right indicator. Very good. It is not following the GPS or navigation. Very good job there. So, we're going to make a right turn here, as you can see right now. And we make that right turn perfectly very smooth. Very, very smooth. So, let's find out, guys. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to make a right turn. And then we're going to make another right and another left. And then we'll, we'll reach to our destination. So, I'll just put two questions. Why you think the car is keep failing in hardware 3 and hardware 4 vehicle? The same narrow road. Why it cannot calculate the uh, space between left side and right side? Let me know in the comment why you think this is happening. And also, um, why you think the car is going little fast and having some confusion when it sees human and it just get little stuck there and needs some assistance from a human driver. Let me know in the comment what you think about this performance and I'm very grateful to my brother that he came all the way from Queens to here just to show me his new car and give me the opportunity so that I can drive it with FSD and try this and film it. Thank you so much Sami uh, for all those things and uh, yeah let's see we're just three minutes away from our destination we're gonna find out how the car handle this last three minute guys right so there is no other car from our left side there is a car right now oh wow it didn't even creep this is what i don't like i don't like uh with this version definitely my car in a stop sign it creeps when there is a stop sign it creeps first and then look on the left side and right side there is, this is very interesting um I'm, I'm, I'm just very confused now because the car should definitely creep if there is a this is not an always stop sign this this was a regular stop sign where you need to creep a little bit to see on your left side and right side but this time i felt like the car doesn't want to creep at all so let me know also in the comment guys it does your hardware for a vehicle also does this it feels like the car is very confident it can do it but i'm definitely sure that the car behind us had to break for us because we make a slow right turn and that's why that car had to break a little bit so don't know really why this is happening the car should definitely creep a little bit to look on the left side and then make that decision but it did few mistakes here and there so let me know in the comment and thank you for watching guys i really appreciate that make sure you subscribe to our channel to get more update about tesla fsd and have a wonderful wonderful day are you a tesla fsd beta tester stop scrolling the fsd beta bumper magnet is a must have this sleek durable magnet clearly signals that your tesla is in self-driving mode it's easy to apply easy to remove and the perfect accessories for embracing the future of autonomous driving don't miss out grab yours on amazon today